switching gears to another Housewives franchise oh. show, I need to issue an apology. <gasps> what? You love this when I- a Rarity. You love when I apologize, although it's becoming a regular thing, apparently. Um, oh not God. apologizing like, to Mel and Ball, even though I did apologize to um, Jill Zarin. I need to apologize to uh, Sheree Whitfield, Candy Burris, Drew Sedora, Sanya Richards-Ross, Kenya Moore, Marlo Hampton. I need to apologize to the girls of Atlanta. I, I, I honestly need to apologize. Because... <laughs> As I drag my fake cigarette. Yes, go on. I, I see you with the fake cigarette. Um, I just, you know, we sat here, we were talking about shows. You know, I say I don't watch shows unless someone's coming on. That's when I catch up. I just had someone, we have someone coming up from Atlanta, guys. So I really sat here and, you know, was talking about how it's an off season. I still do think it's an off season for Atlanta. The ratings have gone back up, but it's gotten, I, it got better. Like the last, I'm almost caught up. I mean, the last, maybe in real time, five episodes, Kenya is like hilarious. It's gotten lighthearted and funny. I still do understand the debate of is Marvel carrying the season or is she just throwing everything under the kitchen sink? But I ended up being like, listen, because this is all stars, because it's Atlanta, because it was once the highest rated. I mean, that's not really right to expect more from it. And when all is said and done, I do think they need to change up the cast, but I do think that this was a great season and I give the MVP. I always give the MVP to Kenya because I'm biased. I love Kenya, but Sheree is a close second. It ended with that. She by Sheree, honey. We waited 14 years for that fucking fashion show. <laughs> Did you see the people there? People went fucking crazy. I mean, it is legendary, right? I mean, I can't think of anything bigger except for if Sonia Morgan was to actually release the toaster. You know, I mean, it was such a moment. Um, we have waited years. I mean, we've been hearing so much about She by Sheree forever and ever. And I mean, of course, you know, she's getting trolled mercilessly on, you know, social media for one of the jumps or the the track suits or workout outfits that she has on. Um Okay, that's interesting for you to say. All right. I mean, I, you know, and I, I kind of jumped on the bandwagon with you. I haven't watched. I've been here or there with this season. Um, but I'll jump back on and finish because Sheree is truly a legend. Like she is one of a kind. And like, how was, I haven't watched the season finale. Like how was she by Sheree? Like everyone was there. Everyone was excited. I mean, well, first of all, and I had Sheree on the podcast this season and Candy and Marlo. I mean, I said to her, are we ever going to see she by Sheree? I mean, look, Sheree has, again, Kenya turned so lighthearted and so funny this season. I mean, these girls even read me during our interviews. It was like, I got read by Marlo. I got read by Sheree. I was like, this is heaven. This is literally heaven. But like she, I mean, Sheree opened up that scene that we saw this season with Tyrone, where she waited for him while he was in oh. prison. And then she goes, I mean, she is putting this on national TV. Sheree gave us everything we would want from a housewife, vulnerability, honesty i mean she just put it out there and she's back and so to end with such a a high i mean it's like it's like i told her it was the most iconic product candy said it best on this season like you know this is like the biggest housewives product because one of the biggest products that wasn't it finally comes out that episode the fashion show and people are going crazy in the audience you could feel the energy kenya's standing up she's attracted to one of the models we have apollo nida walking it's like it's so, so everyone's happy. She has this win. It's good for Sheree. I mean, look, she, I don't know what takes you 14 years, honey, because you know how I run a business over here. I don't even want to hear about 14 days. He heads are going to fucking roll, but. Boy, don't I know? I, I get the emails. I mean. <laughs> come on, Sarah, wake up. I know you Who have a child. Who are we suing this week? Yeah. Right, like you got the child, the husband. That's great. This this velvet rope is moving, honey. The train is like, you got to jump on here. Yes. Um. So no, I mean, it ended great for Sheree. I think it was a great ending. I mean, so then the website crashes because I mean, like I predicted, like she predicted, like Candy predicted, it's the biggest housewives product in history. This is not Ramona Pino Grigio. It's not Teresa Giudice's uh, Fabulini and all this other shit that we'll never hear about again, which is in the housewives graveyard. This is real. So the, the website crashes because so many people are trying to buy it. 
And then the jokes start, right? And we're going to have to wait another 15, 14 years to like, I mean, first of all, Sheree, what are you doing, girl? Like if this is sales means money, sh- you know what? Sheree needs to literally fucking go on Shark Tank. I'm not even trying to be funny. <laughs> like she needs to go on. I've had Mr. Wonderful on this show before. She needs to go on Shark Tank and say, hi, I'm Sheree. Um, I have orders because they, Mr. Wonderful, all of them love when they're like, wait, your problem is like supply. Like you have a hundred thousand back orders that you can't fill. Oh, they all get deals. So girl, don't ask for too much. Don't overvalue the company. Sheree needs to go on Shark Tank. This is truly, honestly, she needs to write in. I guarantee you the ABC producers will pick her. This is, but That's the thing- That's a genius move. That's a genius smart. move. Yeah, yeah. I she mean, I'm giving her a lot of credit that she's that organized. I'm like- I don't know. I mean, she got trolled so bad over this, you know, Sheen, of course, which is the the very cheap fast fashion site. Very cheap. I mean, very, right? I think you can buy everything there for a dollar. You know, it, it, she basically had a very similar design except for the star, She by Sheree, her logo on it. And people were like, you're charging $130 for this. I mean, it is like, I want her to win so badly, but it just seems like either she's really bad at business or she like to your point has all these great intentions, but the team is terrible. I mean, in 14 years, we should have been working out. I mean, every last damn kink. I mean, this should have been, we should have had press kits out to every single person that's ever breathed. I mean, uh, yeah, yes. And yes. And yes. So now she's being accused. Look, when they show the picture of the jogger next to the sheen one or shine, however you pronounce it, which is, you know, very cheap. And it's something on Amazon. It does look very similar. Now, this could just be a bunch of trolls, but like, regardless, figure all that out. I mean, is she about to get sued by Sheen, Shine? I don't know, but figure all that out. And if the website crashed because of too many orders, girl, websites, I mean, that happens. You see people on Shark Tank that say, we had 100,000 in sales over seven years. We went on Shark Tank. The next morning, our website crashed and we had $4 million in 48 hours. Okay, well, get the website back up and yeah. working. Barbara Corcoran steps in and says, let me call my IT guy. And the shit's fixed within, t- I mean, okay. Like you're telling no. me it crashed in their sales and people that want to buy it, girl, forget saying, you know, good morning to Cairo and, you know, forget Apollo and having it, like, this work around the clock to get, this is money, girl, come on. I and I so, love that. I mean, Daddy Cohen had a sweatshirt of hers and he gave her love and posted it. And I was like, oh my God, that's like endless sales. You know, I mean, just to not be capitalizing on it. Oh no. And like, to your point, like Rinna took that lip kit shit and she sent it to everyone that was anyone in like the influencer and all the famous people. And I mean, you know, and it, and it, it, I mean, I'm not saying that's the only reason it worked, but it certainly didn't hurt. And that shit is out there. So that's that's the difference between all of this. Um, so true. That's the difference. Um, um, so that's so. I'm listen. I'm like you. I was I'm looking rooting for, for her. Going. Um, you know, I'm um. I, I'm like rooting for her, but it's, I'm not, yeah, but daddy Cohen posted it. So that's the thing, regardless, I apologize to the Atlanta housewives. Your show was great. And I can't wait for the reunion. I think we talked about it before. I give best dressed of the reunion to uh, Kenya Moore by far. And I, I don't oh, even I, know. I, I don't even know if there's a close second. I just think Kenya is so gorgeous. By right. the way, yes. by the way, Yes. Um, Dorinda, R-H-O-N-J. You heard that Teresa mentioned that. Dorinda. Um, I did. Tell me this, though. I feel like you're always more up to date on the New Jersey stuff. So how did this get mentioned? There's been this rumor, because I know you and I have talked about this before, of Dorinda potentially going to New Jersey. And wouldn't that be an interesting switch up? And of course, we've seen it with Taylor Armstrong. She's about to do it. So with, um, you know, OC. So what is your thought? You think they are planting the seed for this? I think, listen, I, they were at an event, like, you know, there's like housewives, celebrity housewives. It was Teresa Dorinda and somebody else. I don't know who else, but I mean, somebody, there was three of them. Definitely. I think Dolores, I think it was, Ter- yeah, Teresa, Teresa, Dolores and Dorinda, you get paid your five to $10,000. You show up, you do your talk, Fabulous. Q&A. Um, I think it came up 
And I think Teresa was like, yeah, I'm all for this. You know, look, I mean, oh, I don't think it's going to happen. I think, you know, Dorinda is, you know, everyone knows in the world that she lives at Bluestone Manor. She pops into the city a lot, but she's really relocated herself up to there, as Vicky calls it, in the middle of nowhere, Bluestone Manor. So she's not moving to New Jersey. I mean, do I think Dorinda would, you know, rent a condo or something if she got on the show? Yeah. Um, This next season, there was some big announcement. I don't understand. Kim and I have been saying this for weeks. Like, you know, we kind of figured it out. Like, but like Danielle Cabral, one of the newbies is full-time. Rachel Fuda, one of the newbies is full-time.